Pay for our home on Wayfair is so easy. They should make a jingle. Wayfair, you make home shopping easy. Wait, that sounds familiar. These new tools make my shopping a breeze. I can plan my room while I'm falling asleep. How about Wayfair, you got just what I need. No, it's not good. Sounds pretty good. Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to Grown Folk. It's your girl Ashley. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you want to know when I post videos, hit the notification bell. If you're enjoying this video, give me that thumbs up. Definitely get down in the comments and mingle with your girl. I want to know what you think about this subject, okay? And remember, it never ever hurts to share. Hey you guys, we're going to start with a small story time before we get into the information that may very well help you next time you order something off of the internet. Now, I know we're about a month away from Halloween, but I would like to take the time to share this creepy-ass story that happened to my older sister Rhonda when ordering a shower curtain from Wayfair. Now, upon gathering the necessary information for doing this story time, I found even more disturbing things than my own sister went through with her own experience. So sit back, enjoy the story time, and tell me what you think about this shit here. So it starts off as simple as my sister saying, hey, I want to redo my bathroom. Where do I go? Kmart, Walmart, Target. Hey, I know, Wayfair. They pop up every time you touch your damn phone with an advertisement. So I know they have cute stuff there. Why don't I go there? So she goes onto the Wayfair site and she sees this cute little Moroccan number that she wants to try out. So... She puts that credit card number in, hit that send button, and wait around for her Moroccan bathroom set to come so she can redo her bathroom and have it looking all luxurious and nice and whatnot. Meanwhile, she patiently waiting ecstatically. Walking around down there doing the milly walk in every room of her house waiting on her Moroccan shower curtain. Two weeks later. Meanwhile, from Arkansas to Missouri. My sister Trelana calls me like, mm-mm, girl, no, uh-uh, guess what happened to Rhonda? Since she had all them oohs and ahs and prefixes in there, I was like, ooh, girl, what happened to Rhonda? So she was like, girl, I'm about to send you the screenshot right now. So I was like, screenshots involved? Ooh, okay, girl, send it, send it. So the screenshot come in, and I'm like, Sissy, what's this? I, I'm not understanding. And she's damn near like that kid on the movie Six Sense with Bruce Willis. And she says, look closer. And so I do and I'll be damned. It was demonic shit everywhere. So I said, oh, hell no. So I was like, girl, what did she do? Did she call grandma? Did she rebuke it at her house? We need to have a damn prayer circle. What did she do? This shit is not funny. Wayfair needs to be shut down. So my sister Trelana was like, she was all excited to see that Moroccan shower come in, but then saw that travesty. And so she was like, hey, yo, devil, who in the hell do you think you're dealing with? So she said a quick prayer and hit the nearest exit, burning that bitch to a crisp. So the moral of the story is, boys and girls, be careful of what you buy. These companies already do not have our best interests at heart, okay? They just there for the money, that's it. But when it comes to them sitting up there selling shit that they know have demonic shit all over it and want to just advertise it as Moroccan, we have ran into a big-ass problem. So I advise everyone from here to there to watch the shit they order from Walmart Walmart, Amazon, Target, Kmart, Wayfair, into damn thing that comes off the internet and make sure when you in the store to watch everything and review it like it was a damn test. Creepy shit, right? Why don't we let my little sister Ashley explain more? Now, let's get exactly into what was on that crazy ass shower curtain and some other things that Wayfair needs to be explaining to their consumers. Okay, now these are both of the shower curtains advertised side by side. Now, the one on the far left 
is from a site called witchcraftpluscurse.com. Okay, it has all types of trickery for witches and shit to get into and all that nonsense. Okay, now the one on the right is from wayfair.com, which as you can see, if you look closely, it is not near as sharp as the one on witchcraft and curse dot com and that is for a very clear reason and we will see why right the hell now now it is five images that i gathered from this shower curtain that freaked me and my two older sisters the hell out in which why it was burned to a damn crisp and rebuked from all of our phones and our spirits thoughts mind body and souls okay so i advise you to do the same damn thing after watching this damn video now as you can clearly see it is three sixes marked at least four times all over this damn shower curtain and that is nowhere to be seen up close on the wayfair.com site when my sister ordered this moroccan in quotations damn shower curtain okay now i know y'all are seeing some other things now that we didn't blow it up but let's take it step by step okay the the 666 which we all know is the mark of the beast okay is on the shower curtain and what the hell they got to do with moroccan okay moving on to the next thing that i had to look up to see because my sister Trelana was like oh what's all this shit what is that three eight three three eight nine what does that mean well i looked that up and that is a um number that is supposed to curse certain people that you don't like that is to bring them harm so yet again wafer why are you selling some shit that somebody gonna put up in their bathroom that is supposed to bring harm to people um i don't i don't like that i don't like that at all then next we have a very clear masonic floor which is if you follow anything to do with the masons or the elite that checkerboard is damn near their bible it gives them some type of supernatural strength so they believe and you know they just there's something about the damn black and white they they all love and get into and all that shit so it is opening with that uh, masonic flooring which ain't got a damn thing to do with moroccan black and white does not have anything to do with moroccan so that's weird to even begin with and then we have which is something else i had to look up these things hanging from the door now they were more um crisp in that other photo but as i kept blowing it up it kept getting uh, more blurrier but it is like satchels with these little markings on them and what that is is like a witch's brew which is yet another curse that is to bind something that you want um you know to take from somebody okay yet again why we got this shit on the bathroom shower curtain nobody knows and then last but not fucking least the most i don't know why and how the hell and why would you put this shit up on a shower curtain that i gotta go to and wash my ass every damn day alongside my family we going in and out the bathroom and you got this shit up on some shit i purchased from you is this man laying behind these crates with blood all over him now if you look closely like up by the crates you can see a little bit of the blood but again as i started to blow all these images up they got more blurrier with the more blowing so i had to keep it to a limit so y'all can actually see what the hell i am talking about and as you can see here this shit is a clear ass man laying behind a crate which must be asked what the hell does that got to do with moroccan yet again with some ninja hiding behind crates of fruit with the mark of the beast written on them and witchcraft and all what not numbers and shit put a place there wayfair what the fuck are you in that's what i want to know now it's very clear that these images are downright creepy and blatant of being very 
um, demonic or witchy or whatever the hell you want to call the shit. But the most creepiest thing is that they were found in both categories. They were found on Waverly, Walmart, Target, all Amazon, everything that you could order over the internet as well as this um, demonic damn site that you could go and get special items to fucking creep people out and do trickery and all that and whatnot. But the thing that I found more interesting with the whole situation is the fact that I was bamboozled and in complete utter shock the fact that they had these two very separate type of shower curtains labeled as different things on this scary site versus all the other um normal sites like walmart target etc okay everything else had it marked as gothic or fantasy and the um demonic site had it as witchcraft and demonic now i want to make it very clear on the difference between these next images was on the witchcraft site they were labeled as beginners okay beginning secrets and all this crap and on the mainstream it was listed as girly cutesy artsy which is a hundred percent misleading now as you can see these are very common shower curtains are images that you would see somewhere and think that they are artsy or girly or are just whatever you would not think that they are witchcraft of any sort but I am here to tell you that all these images are. They were found on the same site of the witchcraft, which was, you know, saying how to cast spells and how to cast them unknowingly without people knowing that you're doing anything and you're doing it with the smile while stabbing them in the back. And this shit is pretty damn creepy, you guys. Because some of this shit is like on sweatshirts and, and does look girly. And none of this shit is that. Especially these ones with the lips and all that shit. I didn't make coloring sheets and shit like that before. Like, that is creepy to me. And it is not... I repeat, it is not just art and all that shit. It is demonic and witchcraft, and you must beware of it. But honestly, you guys, we have to beware what we put in our homes, what we buy with our money, what we wear on our bodies, and what we involve ourselves in. Because a lot of this stuff has deeper meaning than what we are just thinking about as being art think about how the videos back in our day are if you're anywhere in the age or was born in the 80s just put it like that the videos made sense they went along with the damn video okay now you will have somebody singing about love while freezing to death in Mickey Mouse ears, butt naked on a bowling ball while rolling down into a cartoon land and dying in a freezer. Like, that'll be the shit you'll be looking at and it's talking about a love song. Just don't make no damn sense at all. And all these things, like the images I'm showing you right now, are the same things that are being sold on those same um, witchcraft sites that are also right there at Target because this one right there was on at Target for Halloween and it is also on the um, witch's site for um, cursing somebody that comes up to your damn house with an attitude and they cannot get past or be binded by this tree see that's some shit you don't play with I don't like shit like that at all and i just want everybody to be aware so i wanted to do this video to really just open your eyes to some shit that is really deeper than we sometimes like to realize okay i want to know what you guys think on this whole subject i really do get down below and share your stories with me or tell me what you think tell me if you saw some of these images if you knew some of this shit already what do you think about this whole shit and do you think it is cool for wayfair to be selling shit like that and not telling people that was a real traumatic ass situation for my sister okay we didn't like that bullshit at all that's like 
pulling something into your home that you did not welcome that's sneaking up in there. You can't tell me Wayfair did not know. So I want to know what you guys think. Get down below and let me know your thoughts. You know I enjoyed you as I always do. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.